Joining us also from Washington is CBS News national security analyst Juan Zarate. Uh, Juan, good morning. Senator McCain spoke out over the weekend of well. He as well. He of course last week was in Libya. He met with the rebels. He said they are badly outnumbered both in terms of numbers and when it comes to training. Mentioned that he feared a stalemate and that he said it was very possible Al Qaeda could take advantage of that stalemate. Uh, we're weeks into this effort at this point. Is that a valid concern that Al Qaeda could in fact come in and somehow start to influence the rebels? I think it's a valid concern, Erica, and I think Al Qaeda has traditionally taken advantage of chaos and permissive environments, and in particular in Libya, where you have a history of Al Qaeda presence in related groups, as well as extremists uh, who have been sympathetic to Al Qaeda's cause. This is a real concern, and I think Al Qaeda is not only taking advantage of uh, the space, uh, the, the permissive environment to move operatives around, but trying to foment enthusiasm for violent jihad against Gaddafi. As you look at the situation there, Ms. Rada almost seems to be like a football. It keeps going back and forth. We mentioned that the rebels gained a little bit of ground, uh, but it's been some of the worst fighting there over the weekend. How much longer do you think these rebel forces can actually hold on? Well, that's a great question, Erica. I think the, the one thing that is clear is that they can't survive without foreign support and uh, Western intervention. Uh, certainly militarily, we see that to be the case. Uh, on a humanitarian basis as well, I think that becomes critical. Uh, and so I, I don't think there's any confidence that the rebels can survive on their own or that they can take Tripoli on their own. Uh, but I think what, what needs to happen is continued Western support if we hope the rebels are going to survive. The other thing is, Eric, I think the administration is hoping that internal regime fractures actually uh, take over and eventually topple Gaddafi. I don't think there's much uh, hope that the rebels will take Tripoli and take Gaddafi down. So uh, pinning hopes on, on that as, as a different option. I do want to ask you really quickly, though, about the rest of the region. Uh, we saw more unrest in Syria over the weekend. I believe it was more than 100 people killed in demonstrations. How do you see that uprising ending? Well, I think we're likely to see more violence there, Erica. Uh, the regime is cracking down harder, using violence. They're now arresting uh, pr protest uh, leaders. I, so I think the cycle of violence will escalate, and this becomes incredibly important for the United States. Syria is, in many ways, more important than Libya geopolitically for stability in the Middle East, support for terrorism, uh, instability in places like Lebanon and Iraq. Syria is incredibly important. And so the administration is going to have to answer the question whether or not they consider the Assad regime illegitimate and start to push for regime change in Damascus. We will continue to, fo continue to follow it and follow it along with you, Juan Juan Zarate in Washington. Thanks.